tell Tone it's a real money in the room. You are now tuned into the Bob Report. Ferguson Union. We back? Most Y'all definitely. Y'all locking me up today, Bob. You've never been locked up. I, I used to be mentally. I'm free now. You free now? Oh, hell yeah. I've been a free man. Look, no shackles on my feet. No laughing my Batman side season. Nigga, my Superman's nigga. I feel okay. Like, you know. So, Bloods and Crips in Ferguson. Hmm. Um, some of y'all got along, some of y'all didn't. Was there ever a standoff on Ferguson between the Bloods and the Crips? Tell us my Crip. Let's go. Man, we was in our cell one, once upon a time. We was in our cell, man, early in the morning. You, know, you go to breakfast, you got a lunch. King Beasley got a partner named Drummer. Shout out King Beasley. Shout out to King Beasley, man. King Beasley got a, uh, a road dog named Drummer. And Drummer was a, was a hit man for King Beasley in prison. I had my own standoff too. Uh, but Drummer was King Beasley, hit man, along with another um, one, one of the well orchestrated niggas over there is, is um, King Kong. King Kong was um, King Beasley, um, um, right hand man. Mm -hmm. Drummer was his left hand man. Shout out to Drummer because he was left handed too. <laughs> Fire. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and, and, and all of them had their own little crews. But um, <clears throat> Drummer had got a crip in his cell. Drummer came to the door with a lot of noise. That nigga name perceived him well. <laughs> when he walked on the block, that nigga said, woo, 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 woo. I said, man, what the fuck is that? Why are doing that shit, cuz? They got cuz, who is that all that, cuz? And you, woo, 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 what's up, dog? Woo, woo, so woo. And who the fuck coming on the block acting like that, nigga? Nigga, I'm all in the goddamn man. Oh no, this shit ain't gonna work, man. My motherfucking weird. This shit ain't gonna motherfucking work. Then I heard Beasley, you know, you, you put your ears on when shit come on the block. It's first day on the block. Like Beasley say, watch me come on the block. I, I remember when this hitman drummer came on the block. We was on lockdown. Um, mean drummer got into it off the rip. Even before lockdown was over, me and that nigga was at each other throat. Um, oh, some pictures of some dogs. <laughs> some pictures of some dogs? Uh, I caught myself shooting them some pictures of my dogs down there. So you can see my pit bulls that I had in the world. And um, he said it looked like some mutts. And everybody on the run started laughing. I got mad. I took, cause don't talk about my dog like that, cuz. Talking about my dogs, nigga. I said, nigga, I said, nigga, nigga, don't talk about my dogs, nigga, my, cause you know, I was like I am in the world. A nigga dog didn't want to fight, he won't fight either. That's how, that's how I used to, that's how attached to my animals I am. Um, and I watch other people animals. If your dog won't fight, nigga, you won't fight either. Nigga dogs are something like they masters. Um, if you fuck with them wrong, they'll get you. Some of them are just dry tacky. Mm -hmm. um, so don't assault my dog character when he ain't around cause I'm a real nigga. I'm just like this nigga. I don't give a damn if the Diamond Stone ain't around, Urban Politician ain't around, Bob Report ain't around, Trey Six Hundo, Real Tune ain't around. I'm not gonna let nobody say nothing when they ain't around. That's how I am. I'm gonna protect um, who I fuck with at all times. Say that to say this, when that nigga said something about my dog, I was real petty. I said, nigga, my dogs can't fight you, but I can. Can't be, I know can't be like that. Man, come on, person, that shit. <laughs> Dry. <laughs> I know it. <clears throat> that was something that was worked out real fast. Um, Cause Percy was dry tripping. Just throwing a piece of muscle out there cause he came on the block with a lot of muscle. Saying that to say this one time, drama, uh, ended up getting a celly that was a crib nigga and, uh, from Cali and, and Drummer used to leave his cell all the time and I guess 
the um, Crip nigga would go inside drama property and ramble through his shit while he gone. So drummer started noticing things in the cell had been moved around. So um, drummer decided to leave a, you know, a booby trap for the nigga. So um, come to find out the booby trap worked well. You know, drummer put shit certain places to make sure he probably took the top this time of, of his jaw and just put it like this, put it upside down. But the nigga was so careless about putting things back in drummer cell, he would leave shit like it was. He wouldn't put shit back like it was. And, and drum would say, person, let me holler at you, man. He said, say, man, this one is your, your, your homeboy. And, and the crib nigga was a big nigga. Uh, they watched me check him in the day room. King Beasley and them watched me check him in the day room off the real. Crib nigga was a big nigga out of Cali, you know. He said, man, you keep fucking with my shit in the cell. He said, don't say nothing, don't say nothing. I got it. He said, but I'm just letting you know. I don't need nobody to take up for me, you know, you know look out, I'm going to do my own work. I say, well, if the nigga you said, it's your cell, he fucking with your shit, you're supposed to check out on the nigga. The nigga don't supposed to go in your shit, touch your shit, or bother your shit if you ain't in the house. He said, well, nigga doing that, man. So drama did give me a heads up. It was about three something in the morning. I think they was coming in from child. And I heard the, I heard the beat come on. I heard the music start playing on one row. Okay. Ready? I'm gonna get it. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, they fight that. That's a good one. Oh yeah. That's what it sound like in there. That's the music. Catch the beat, niggas. The music went on for a minute, so I'm trying to find out where the music coming from. They said down there. The music sound like it's right up under me, but I know right up under me. And I said, then I finally heard a nigga say, yeah, nigga, what's up, nigga? Yeah. Yeah, dog, what's up, blood? What's up, blood? He say, he say yeah, this bitch that nigga tried to hit me with a lock. Doing the, doing, doing, doing the, doing the controversy, doing the music playing on. You know, it, 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 it start, the song start getting more familiar, and it, and it sound like Cali versus Drama down there fighting. He didn't have a fight. The fight got so good, you know, when you when you say a fight, it's really like a cage match and there's no referee. <laughs> yeah. That's, it's dangerous in that cell, niggas. But anyway, um, drama is real cocky and very arrogant and real loud spoken. He wasn't a quiet crib. Shout out to Chad and shout out to Roe, nigga. I gotta say that. I'm always say that. Shout out to Chad and Roe. Two bloody, two two more King B um, riding partners. They ride with them real to especially Chad. And um, Drama got a little cocky on the crib nigga because he started maxing the crib nigga at him. When Drama started winning, he gonna talk. Yeah, bitch ass nigga, ho, ass, shut up, ho. Shut up, your bitch ass up, nigga. He started punishing the crib nigga. He started preaching over the run while he whooping the crib nigga. So I'm like, God damn, come on, cuz. I'm like, God damn, cuz. I'm like, God damn. So Drummer said some shit. Tell them niggas you ain't no crib no more, nigga. He said, tell them niggas, nigga. Tell them you ain't no crib no Wait a minute, look out, cuz. I yelled off the run, I couldn't take it no more. I had, I had, I couldn't, I couldn't say the nigga, but I couldn't take the disrespect of now, nigga. He killing the nigga. He down up maxing the nigga ass out. He, and he, Making the nigga disrespect and disown his set in the cell. I can understand that. That's what we own down there. Yeah, you niggas talking that old weak ass shit, nigga. Niggas would have got one of you niggas make you niggas tap your set out. It laugh. Over the run in front of nigga. I ain't, tell him I ain't no blood no more. Shut him, you ain't. That's like that nigga told him, tell him I ain't no crib no more. And I got mad. And I said, Craig, look at cuz. I said, look at cuz. Get up off of him, cuz. Then I heard another blood nigga down the run. Yeah, look out, look out, purse. What's up with all the disrespect, nigga? Cuz, I said that. What's up, cuz? Shit, what you mean disrespect? You feel disrespected? We next. And I was talking to a major nigga. Another H Town, big old tall nigga. Um, damn it. King B know who he is. He got knocked out on back of the room by Drummer. <laughs> him and Drummer fought. Drummer snuck him on the back of the room. Funzy, funny or something. He said something. It was a giant nigga. He said, "Put the guy, person, you know, you know, 
Everybody in prison ain't scared of everybody, nigga. Ain't nobody scared of nobody. We all in this hole. They gonna say what they wanna say. They on the other side. Just crip, cause I got crip niggas in order don't mean blood niggas gonna respect me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's crip niggas. They ain't got to. I'm the same way with them. I wish one of you niggas would get out of line. You hear me? Only nigga I like in here is King B. I fuck with King B. The rest of you niggas fool. Yeah. Y'all niggas fool. And so um drama got so cold on the blood, on the crib nigga, he started making him tap out and I jumped in verbally and tried to save him. Um, me jumping in verbally ended up to a lot of niggas on the run jumping in the conversation too. So uh, what's understood ain't gotta be explained. Uh, let's hit that day room and dance then niggas. Shit. What you mean, nigga? That's what I'm talking about, right? Real. That's my shit. I got bad boy on the block, POP on the block. Damn, them niggas got Beasley on the block, Roe on the block. God damn me, uh, drama on the block. H block the hood, this motherfucker real. And guess what? All them niggas on the block fell to that day room immediately. About five something in the morning. They ain't even call work call yet. Everybody on the block. Uh. Damn, person, you even started some shit. <laughs> and you know them blood niggas ain't going nowhere. And guess what? Crip niggas ain't either. We bet not. Matter of fact, and they already know we on go. And we already know they on go. So, um, it got real. So the, the um, thing was, fuck all that. I'm waiting on drama to come in that hole. I'm like, shit, look how cool. So, Drummer fell to the cell when Drummer came in that bitch, that big ass walk, he walked sideways in the motherfucker. And he, and he was on there like, yeah, nigga. Yeah, you know, shit, you know, what's up? So I'm like, so Crip nigga came in there, I'm like, God damn, cuz you good, you all right? Yeah, man, you know, God damn. I'm like, God damn, cuz, don't never make no niggas try to tap you out, cuz. Get these niggas. What the fuck, what's going on? So Beasley came in, King B over there, they over there, and, 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 and I'm looking. So. The niggas that been there for a while that know how this shit go when it get like this. Cause you know, as y'all know, person ain't been there. <laughs> I'm just a stick of dynamite ready to blow up. That's all. But I didn't blow it up enough to where I got, now damn it, uh, it ain't got real. Uh. So King B was looking and King B was, uh, I guess he had made his decision of uh, how it go cause that's just how it's gonna go then. So I looked and I, I got on the same shit. So I yelled over Beasley at the drum. I said, what's up, nigga? What's up? Nigga, what's up? Drum said, what's up, nigga? Let's get it. Let's go. Let's jump it out. There ain't no use playing stirring game with her, niggas. And I know y'all got them knives over there. I know y'all <laughs> got them knives over there. I know y'all got them rugs. We do too, though. What? Pass me. Hurry up. Y'all know what time it is. Cause it's crazy. Uh. Ro said something. Ro said, uh-uh. Ro, Ro was a loud talking blood. Uh, he had a little bit of power too, just like Beasley, but not just like Beasley, because he wanted Beasley partners too. And Ro sit up under. But Ro could get crunk and get loud too. And I looked at Ro. Ro said, Percy, don't do that. Don't do that, man. Don't do that. That's in my Ro voice, King B. I <laughs> I know. Everybody know Ro. No, I just hit that hole. <laughs> That's how Ro go out. He said, look at that person. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Don't do that. Don't do that. Homie. Don't do it. Nigga, what, nigga? Do what? When I get out there, I get out there. I don't give a fuck, nigga, because I know what side I'm on. And I know if you ain't on this side, nigga, you ain't eating with us. Nigga. That means you on the menu. I don't give a fuck who you is on that side. See, I know the difference between what side I'm on, quick and blood, nigga, when the war jump off. And guess what? These niggas my niggas, cuz. But I, I can't see that right now. So, um, the old heads wasn't gonna let um, Pole Pocket Percy jump it out. Yeah. I mean, cause guess what? Percy had to go, but Percy don't know the, the big picture. I just know the small picture right now. Small pictures, you know, show your ass right, right now. That's me. Jump this bitch out, nigga. I always be the warrior in the front, that's me. I always lead the charge, nigga, not the ones behind the charge. That's me, niggas. Yeah, that's me. Off the rip, I'm, what's up, let's get it. Wait, like, hold on now, friend. And that morning, <laughs> that morning, they weren't gonna let me spoil the day. Uh, 
that's when I found out some niggas got some say. Yeah. Besides me. Uh, at that time. And, and they was right. That was the time to use your head, nigga. Huh? Uh, how'd this story turn out? Um, we decided, because we can't leave this motherfucker um, mad. Because um, if we leave this motherfucker mad, we ain't going to know how it's going to turn out. And one thing I'm not going to do is watch my be watching my back. You know, I know they move like we move, and we move just as well. King B said, he'll tell you, everything was zero tolerance. He wasn't taking no shit, and I damn sure wasn't. Uh, and we knew them things, so he stayed away from me on when it came to that type of shit, and I stayed away from him. Uh, like King B say, me and King B ain't never got into shit. It's always the niggas around us yeah. getting into shit. I ain't never got into shit, nigga. Can't a nigga put no dirt on my name or nothing. But uh, the niggas that I'm around, shit, shit. Them niggas stay in some shit. You hear me? Uh, and, and that was a part of being who you are and wanting to hold a position that you got. Me and King B walked up to each other and uh, in the day room we started talking to, to uh, come up with a solution to the problem. Yeah. I said, now what happened? Now what's up? Cause me and Drama ain't got that close. No, me and Drama, we just on, me and him on the same level. We finna punch it there. We just gonna punch, nigga. Let's get to it. Drama, he looking like, man, I don't really want to talk. No, Drama really, me either. Me either. Now I don't want to do no talking, man. I might want no, no, cause, cause we are. It's already rules in this game, man. See the rules in the game, like King B say, and, and it's on my side, nigga. I, I mean, I really, I really, I really affected this shit. And guess what that was? It was called a domino effect. What that mean? When one move, nigga, we all move. Look, cuz. And, and we already know that. All it takes is one nigga to light the fucking. And we already know what this finna turn out. It's finna be some punching in this hole. It's finna be some slaughtering going on. Because what? Well, that's how we move and that's how they move. If one move, we all move. I don't give a fuck who fight. Nigga, we gang banging. Nigga, we, we ain't let nigga fuck some one on one. Nigga, we clicking. We a gang. If that nigga fight, all y'all niggas around, every crip around better smash. Now, it's just between me and him. We, he better not be a crip, nigga. But anyway, um. Beasy walked up and he said, cuz, you know, you, the, the partner was out of line, man. The partner was out of line. I said, what's up? And me and Beasy was having a face off too. Really, I'm mad at drama. I can deal with Beasy because mentally me and Beasy know where we at. Uh, I'm not going to make Beasy sound weak and he ain't going to make me sound weak either. You understand me? So he just said, man, your partner was out of line, man. I said, I said, we were what, nigga? He said, man, you took off on him with the lock. Now, um, person's been wrong about a lot of things. When it comes down to prison politics, you better know prison politics is just like your law. If you don't know it, it can be used against you. <laughs> Not funny, Bob. I almost got in trouble. The man had a weapon. We don't do weapons. We do one-on-ones. No weapons. That was a cheap move. You can't, Bob, you can't put out a knife and the man don't know you got one. You gotta kick him heels first. Yeah. Ferguson is a different rule to nigga. You can't even hit a nigga when he down. Over there, if a nigga fall down, Bob, you gotta let him get up. Where, where they do that at? Them young niggas got some dangerous rules over there. Nigga, you better have something. Yeah. That's why these old niggas talking that shit. Cause that's why I didn't see none of them niggas out there. That's why niggas can actually say, I see you there, but you didn't see me. I bet I didn't. All them niggas y'all see doing these interviews, them niggas didn't do it. Listen, man, people don't do time with everybody. Then the niggas I walk by and pay attention. Nigga wasn't gonna say nothing to me, nigga. I wasn't no ordinary nigga, I was an old young nigga. <laughs> Watch this, living out my dream. As a gangster, that is. Yeah. To be all I can be. But anyway, King B's walked up to me and he, he fucked over me. He presented the evidence. Because B the kind of smart. When it come down to thinking. That's why 
I watched some of his moves and he watched me move. I couldn't show him nothing. He had been away before I got there. <laughs> so that's the nigga to watch. That's how we got like this, but didn't get like this. But I was watching. <laughs> and, and I was looking and learning. When Beasley presented the evidence, I said, damn. Shit making me look bad, cause this nigga had a fucking weapon. I look, he said, yeah man, your boy has a lock. I said, let me see the lock, nigga. Nigga, let me see the lock, nigga. He had this. I can't believe this nigga. He says, got us all down there for commit, for the start a whole outrageous war, and he cheated. He got us looking fucked up. It's just like D-Lo jumping on a girl Jumping on the guy for the girl, you cannot. Uniform don't get against uniform. Yeah. The inmates stick with inmates, laws stick with laws. You cannot violate an inmate for some law shit. They can't come between what we got going on, because guess what? They damn sure ain't gonna let you come between them and they job. So when D-Lo did what he did, he violated. I had to get my pot of gun within 24 hours. That was my everyday nigga. But when the laws is broke, it don't matter who that is, your everyday nigga, your partner, your what, your homie or whatever, he gotta go, cuz. Cause guess what? If I slip on a banana peel, cuz, them niggas is gonna smoke me. Yeah. You know how many niggas waiting to smoke person? After all the smoke I done gave these niggas? So guess what? Nah. If I would've jumped that off and found out this nigga got cheated with a lock nigga, when the, when, the, when the prison politics get hold of that, nigga, I'm out of there. Prison politics is the niggas that's not doing nothing, but they sitting there watching everything. They got, got everything to say. The sad thing, they got some say so. They been there 20 years, 18 years. Yeah. They ain't, they just not, look, the center, I'm just not in there on foolish shit. But what I'm gonna do is they do, when they make their call, guess what? They call stick. Cause how you just gonna make a call on nigga? You ain't helping them. Cause, Cause y'all wrong for you started. That's how they are talking to you. You wrong for you started, nigga. I already knew that. I don't participate in this shit. When it come down to the big picture, oh, you gonna lose. Yeah. So I snatched the lock out of King B's hand. I said, give it it. Let me see. This is what he was using. He said, that's what he had. And I took that lock. And I slapped that nigga. Right in front. Bitch, I know you didn't do no shit like this. And I knocked that nigga ass out, stomped him out right there, and let them niggas mash. That's how we got gangster. Ain't that right, King B? These niggas ain't talking about shit. They ain't talking about it. get gangster like that. Right then on the spot. Right then on the spot. Because guess what? Loyalty is everything. You got to stick to the rules. There's no sides when it comes to the rules. Either you break them or you don't. You gotta stick. The shit that I was doing, nigga, wait for me to do something stupid and violate. If I'd have done that war shit, nigga, at the end with that lock being presented, a cheat move, and I didn't start a war for a nigga cheat, it's not gonna look too good. It's just gonna keep a war going. I know. <laughs> uh, protect yourself at all times. Keep your report card. Bob report. Money in the room. You are now tuned into the Bob Report.